Hey, hi, Steve Bedell, your EXP Realtor, coming to you from the Villages, Florida, once again today with another newsletter with some news that you can use, information you might find useful. Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about the three things that I like the best about the Villages, okay? Just me, personally. You may see some other videos, other people may like other things, but here's why I'm going to tell you the three things I like the best and why. Okay? So here we go. Number one thing I like about the, vi the villages. Hmm, maybe I need a new pen. <laughs> maybe I need to learn how to write. Anyway, number one, activity. There's so much activity here, and I'm not just talking about the activities that uh, come along and are all part of the amenities. But let's just take a look at a few things here that you can do. Like I played, I played golf this morning. I played on the executive course, which is free. You do pay a cart fee, but it's all included in your amenities fee. And I, I parred three of the first four holes. <laughs> But don't ask me about the other ones. All right, the other ones, nah, not so much. But anyway, I like to, I play golf nine holes, executive course, once a week. That's kind of what my schedule allows, and I'm good with that. So I like that. Just uh, but there are so many things that you can do here. You can play pickleball. You can play billiards. You can play uh, you guys, volleyball, water volleyball, archery, bocce. Oh, shuffleboard, you, you name it, there's so many activities here that you can be involved in. And these are just, some of them are kind of structured, but remember, the, in, in addition to, like, going to play golf this morning, there are, uh, there's about 3,000 clubs in the villages. I think it's considerably more than that right now. So let's say uh, you like needlepoint, or let's say you want a, uh, a, a, uh, book a book group uh, you can get together let's say let's say you like billiards okay because I used to play billiards quite a lot so if you look under activities every Thursday we get in the newspaper there's a big section with all the clubs and activities and what's going on let's say you like billiards you say well I want to join the billiards yeah, club well hang on a minute you know how big the village is this? It's, uh, you know, i got to check that again. I'm just blocking on the square mile. But it's always growing anyway. But let's talk in terms of distance. If you were way down the southern end, and you got to go way up the southern end, you're over half an hour in a car, okay? It, it, it'll take you a bit. So, let's see. If you have, so we have billiards. Let's say we have billiards north of 466. We have eight ball billiards north of 466. We probably have mixed billiards north of 466. We probably have nine balls north of 466. And then we have between the six, as they call it, in the middle of the villages, and then maybe south of 44. There's, there are, oh, last time I looked, there's at least a dozen billiards clubs alone that you can belong to. So there's so many activities here. If you can't find something to do here, it's your own fault, okay? All right, so activity, that's the number one thing here. Now, let's look at number two, my favorite. Oh, let's see if this thing works now. All righty, here we go, wow. I guess it's time, huh? Entertain. Man. Entertainment, hey, I'll put an exclamation mark, how's that? Okay, entertainment. In the main body of the villages north of Route 44, there are three town squares. Now down south of 44, they do have another smaller town square now, um, Sawgrass Grove. Uh, but up in the main section, we have three, and including Sawgrass, there is there are bands or a school of the DJ. There's a DJ that gets a big crowd, uh, 365 days a year. So you can go, you can hop in your golf cart, and I live only two miles south of Lake Sumter Landing. I can, we do it all the time. Hop in the golf cart, we whip right up to Sumter Landing, I park the golf cart so I can see things. We can 
watch them just sit in the cart and watch everything or we can hop out and get a chair out in the square. Uh, we like, I like every place, there's certain bands we like, there are crowd favorites here. But anyway, plenty of entertainment every single night. And I'm not even talking about the things that they have that you can pay for, like at the Sharon Theater and at the Savannah Center. The Savannah Center, uh, a lot of tribute type bands, like let's say you like the Eagles, there's going to be an Eagles tribute band. There's uh, all kinds of tribute bands. And, and at, the, um, at the Sharon, they have theater. They have uh, theater acts over there and a wide variety of things there too. So you get uh, every day, every day, every day of the week, doesn't matter, Christmas, New Year's, whatever, you got entertainment every single night. And lots of special things, a lot of car shows. Every holiday they do specialty things for it. So tons of entertainment to, to keep you occupied and have fun while you're here. Now number three is one I'll bet you're not going to expect because I've done some similar things like this before but you might not have been thinking of this one. And I thought about it just this morning even because every morning when I look at the news from Orlando every day I see about the shootings and the drugs and so many things. So number three is safety. No place is perfect, but the villages, I got to tell you, it's, <laughs> you feel pretty safe here. Some people think, I mean, we have gates everywhere and get your gate cards to go through, but the villages is not a gated community. The uh, main roads run right through it and anybody can come here. Um, but the gates do make it. All those gates have cameras and all those gates, they take pictures of everybody coming in and out of the place. And some of the gates at the major intersections are manned and they have people in them. So they've got people keeping track of what's going on all the time. Plus, there's the Villages Community Watch. We constantly, 24-7, have people driving around. They're not police. If you look, uh, if you want an 80-year-old grandmother uh, acting as a police, there's not that. But she can drive the, the uh, Community Watch car. And they, have, and they can call in anything that they see that looks like it might be you know, a suspect. So anyway, you have that, but it's really rare when you see the crimes that we have in the villages. It you know mostly things like DUIs or you know car crashes, that kind of thing that aren't going to have a direct impact on you or threaten your safety. Okay, so that's uh, if you put all that together, think about it. that's a pretty nice little package. You got plenty to do. You got entertainment, you got activity, and you're safe for you and you feel safe while you're doing it. You put those three things together, that's a pretty powerful package, and that's a pretty amazing reason to live here. And guess what? I forgot at the beginning to say, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe to this to my video channel or to my newsletter. I keep these things coming to you every week. Uh, I keep giving you news that you can use, things that are entertaining, and things that you might be interested in. Okay? All right, so hit the like button, hit subscribe. Until next time, this is Steve, your EXP Realtor in the Villages.